and I love seeing people's reactions like, uh, like, oh, what do you do for fun? I'm like, oh, I build robots. Both Matt and I worked together, and uh, he came to work one day telling me he got a 3D printer off Craigslist, and I'm like, well, that's cool. What can we do with it? So we started printing some fidget spinners, different like trinkets, and we ran across this open source project called InMove, which is by a guy named Gael out of France. They have something called the Finger Starter Kit, a kit that shows you how to print a finger that you hook to a servo, and then you program it, the finger starts moving. It's kind of like this aha moment, like when you when you have something you built and then you program and you watch it move and you're like step back and you're like, wow, that's really cool. So we had this one finger moving and it inspired us to just keep going. What we're doing is connecting ideas from people throughout the world. Somebody's really, really good at facial recognition. You can go out there, look at the models, apply those, and kind of combine them all together. Using Docker has just been kind of a huge thing for us, too, to be able to combine those ideas and bring it into one experience. We write all the, our software ourselves. It's written in ROS, Robot Operating System, using Docker containers. All of this is self-taught, pretty much. And I think that's the best way to learn, is, is actually to get your hands you know, into something and then, and then teach yourself. I taught myself Python, C++, Solder, electronics engineering. People always ask us like why do we do this? Ultimately it's a creative outlet, a way to be able to kind of write software and develop it and create ideas. Really we're not bound by anything. Also to see the reaction of my daughter, she's 18 months old now. She absolutely loves the robot. She'll go up give it kisses and it's just been really really cool to kind of see how fascinated she is with it. You know inspiring people just to see what anybody can do has been a really cool aspect of this whole project. Because it's so open source anybody with a 3D printer can do the same thing. I'm building a robot and it's kind of cool to say and, and to think about.